hey guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel um wow you know i planned today to have a vlog which i'm still going to film but little did i know that i was going to wake up to such devastating news today is 29th of august 2020 and I woke up to hear the sad news of the passing of Chadwick, the Black Panther star, Mr. Wakanda. <laughs> wow. You know, I really understood why sometimes it's not really good to pick up your phone as soon as you wake up. You know, I woke up, I just said a little prayer because I needed to use the restroom. So I picked my phone up. Because I had sent someone a DM like last night, so I wanted to see if person had replied me. So I took up, I took my phone and I, I went to the bathroom with it, and um, I just went on Instagram because that was where I sent someone a direct message. And to my shocking surprise, what did I see? I saw my tail with this man's pictures and i was not sure why people were posting his pictures so i didn't really budge until i went to someone's i went to the person the dm that i sent i saw the person did not reply then i just like found myself on someone's story and i saw heartbroken signs rest well i'm like rest well and i went to his page and i saw that his representative had um written out a, a message on his passing and um the person wrote this is so sad like sorry my voice is shaking because this is just like one of the saddest things like ever you know like it is so sad the person wrote um whew, well it is with immeasurable grief that we confirm the passing of chadwick Bosman. chadwick was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer in 2016 and battled with these last four years as it progressed to stage four wow. oh my god a true fighter chadwick preserved treat all and brought to you many of the films you have come to love so much from marshall to the five bloods august wilson's ma rainey's black bottom and several more all were filmed during and between countless surgeries and chemotherapy I want to pause there you see life is bittersweet this man was struggling with something but he did not give up on his dreams he was shooting movies in between surgeries and chemotherapy what is stopping you from being the person you want to be I don't have money I have a headache I'm not this I'm not that enough what is really stopping you? You see, ever since 2020 started, it started with one of the greatest basketball players ever to like surface this earth, passing away, and that was Kobe Bryant. When that death happened, it was such a shocker. Like it just showed that that one he didn't even have any um, health problems or anything. I mean, him and his daughter and an helicopter they died, you know, just an accident. Like that was what happened. Nothing. There was no health complications. But at least, as he has passed on, he still has a legacy. At least in his heart, wherever he is now, he knows that he fulfilled. At least some sort of goal you know and I'm, I'm i'm such a huge believer of purpose you know when you fulfill your purpose sometimes maybe god does not want you to just be here again because maybe i don't know i really don't know this man this amazing man chadwick that died he literally opened the door for a lot of black stars i mean we had never had a black superhero that was the main character before not that i know of i mean i remember when black panther was premiering in ghana it was the biggest premiere i'd ever seen i mean i had gotten my ticket to see that movie i mean prior to the week it was premiering and when we got there my god if you see the 
queue of people lining up in fact the cinema the, the um what's his name the part i've forgotten what they called him he came out and he told us that ah it's like there's no space so this was another cinema not silverbird so i was like okay let's go to silverbird i sold my ticket to somebody because that cinema was full when i got to silverbird it was filled up as well like people had been you know piling in fact i had to wait for two weeks before i finally saw that movie i'm just trying to i'm i'm trying to just ease the tension going on because i know a lot of people are very devastated people are very very sad like with what is happening so far what has happened what we all woke up to this morning and i just want to say that we need to be strong you know you need to really fight for what you want in this life at least yes he's dead now but he opened a certain door for people do you notice that most great people that have passed on they have opened a certain door for other people if not their own legacy if not for their own family but for people around them i mean now tomorrow now we can have more black superheroes than we've ever had before serious black superheroes you know it's such a it's such an amazing feeling at the end of the day to know that after you grieve over somebody you know that oh this person made a great impact before he left sometimes when you're done fulfilling your purpose your maker calls you i'm telling you god is the author and the finisher of our lives sometimes he doesn't want his children to be corrupted by the rest of the world i'm not saying that everybody's going to die soon but you know we all have our unique purposes trust me some of us were built to sing act dance you know be teachers be whatever like some of us were, were this was this is our journey this is what we are called to do you know and one day you're going to fulfill that thing you're going to finish fulfilling that thing and your maker might call you to come and or maybe you were supposed to fulfill that but you did not fulfill it because you were like oh Charlie I don't have so much money I don't have so much resources so I'm not even going to start some of you don't even start this man when did he get his big break to me his big break was Black Panther when was Black Panther Black Panther was like I think was it 2017 I think let's just say he got his big break four years ago when he found out he was diagnosed and four years ago he was probably in his late 30s but he got his big break see it doesn't matter how old you are how broke you are right now how little resources you have right now you've got to start because time waits for nobody god has written our stories like god has written our stories in a book eh? he knows what is going to happen but do you know something it is up to you to either start now or don't even start at all because if god has said that tomorrow this is what you're supposed to do and you don't do it who is to blame but you know sometimes if god has even said that in the next five years is when this person is going to start this and you on your own you might get that that um conviction to start today god can always rewrite your story and make things work in line because you know god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask think anything and he, everything works together for those who love him because at the end of the day if it's in your heart to do this god has already said this is what this person is going to do and if you are a true lover of christ and it is in your heart to do something trust me that conviction will be there like it will just it will come so quick because when you're in christ things just come quicker for you i don't know how to explain that it's it's a it's a, it's a god thing honestly i'm sorry for you know i'm not diverting but i'm just trying to make you people at least smile i know that there's a hope for tomorrow i mean 2020 has just been filled with debt sorrow so many things but do you know one thing i'm certain for i'm certain that this will be the last year that people will cry people there will be records of multiple deaths i mean people have lost their jobs because of this pandemic a lot of negative things have happened i am just hoping in christ because 
as a believer it has just been God this is a time where you stick to one particular course until it's completed this is a time where you stick to what you believe and hope in what you believe I don't know who you worship I don't know whatsoever but you need to cling to that you need to give God a chance in your life as a person trust me tomorrow I don't I'm not going to say tomorrow is not promised but you cannot because it's not the Christian thing to say for tomorrow is not promised but you cannot tell what's going to happen tomorrow you cannot tell what's going to happen next tomorrow you can't tell the toll you, you, you don't know what happens when you go out like you might go out now and you might not come back you might go to bed at night and you might not wake so what do you what, what would people say oh this person has achieved in his lifespan do you understand honestly honestly we just have to 2020 has just not been it like in so many senses but we just have to be thankful to God for preserving our lives preserving those of our families our loved ones because there's a there's there's a there's a verse in the Bible which I I, I love so much which I try to say so much when I pray or when I'm just like lost in thoughts it's who am I that you love me so much who am I that you have chosen to preserve my life who am I that I am still breathing who am I that I went out and I came back and that my life wasn't cut short who am I that I slept and I woke up and I did not die who am I that that no matter when evil comes my way I prevail who am I I am just Tiffany like you need to say that in your name like I am just so and so but you choose to preserve my life <sighs> honestly I know 2020 has been bad but have you just been in your house looking at people that have died online you know just on social media 24 7 sitting down at home doing nothing I mean there are multiple things you can do right now do not just go without leaving your footprint on the sands of time. You have to be known for some. I'm not saying you should steal or whatsoever, but you know, the person that started making sanitizers when sanitizers were going high in price was not a fool. The person that started with the face shield was not a fool. The person that started making the max, maxes for people to buy the cloth max was not a fool. They, they literally probably thought about it and started monetizing from it. Now ask yourself, what are you really doing? Are you just sitting at home? Because 2020 will be the year that broke and made a lot of people. That is just the truth. 2020 has been filled with trials. Do you know, do you know the anxiety I for one feel every day going to work, knowing that there is a pandemic? Because I don't know, the car I enter, I don't know who has been there. Yes, I have a particular who is a car service car, but he also picks other people. So I don't know who has been there. It's a risk. I go to work, I don't know if there's anybody who has had it that has been there. I go to go and eat at a restaurant to buy food. I go to buy food so I can eat for break time. I don't know who has been there. The person that has given me, has delivered my food to me, holding a line on back. I don't know if he has it, but I'm touching the bag. Every day is a gamble. Every day you have to be a risk taker because the risk takers are the ones that are going to take over at the end of the day. You're either going to come out from this pandemic and say, oh, I witnessed it though. Hmm. A lot of people died. What did you do? What were you doing? What did you achieve as a person? What, who did you impact this year? It's not easy. Like you really have to. Let it just be a wake up call that life is so freaking short. It is short there. I mean, I saw a picture of Kobe Bryant and Chadwick together 
I think the picture was taken two years ago and someone captioned it and said that if they told you that these two people in this picture are going to die two years to come, would you have believed? You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Honestly, do not allow, do not allow 2020 fully break you. It's so heartbreaking. I know a lot of people have been let off from their jobs. A lot of people have lost their jobs. In fact, I heard of some big hotel here in Ghana that they had 200 or something staff to begin with, like ever since. And as of now, they have sacked almost everybody and they only have 20 something staffs left. Things are happening. Be that indispensable person in whatever you do. Try to just try to make things work for you. So like just try, no matter how little it is, even if it's hundred cities you have and you want to start something, please just start it. Honestly, please just just do something like this. Don't be caught, don't let this year fully break you try to do something whatever you're doing now might not tell people might not notice it but surely surely you will get there and to everyone grieving this loss that happened this morning wow it goes so much to say that you don't have to know somebody for you to feel their pain like you don't have to know somebody at the end of the day we all get very empathetic about certain things like please and please be strong to anybody that this that has affected don't allow it to affect you in a very negative way although it's very sad let this just be a wake-up call that you should actually start doing something i mean be known for something even if it's little your big break might not come now you might be 40 something now and thinking that your life is just psh, you're thinking like i cannot do anything but you can i mean every time i think about age I remember this woman, um, no one from Fashion Police, what's her name again, I, I forgot it, but I remember reading an article that she had a big break when she was in her late 50s, like, you never know, keep pushing, keep being you, and just know something, know that God loves you, and he is who you should look up to, and, wow yeah and uh, i think i think i feel better talking about this now i feel relieved because when i woke up and saw this news i was really down i feel kind of better and um, i tried to upload this video now so that i don't know who th this video would help but i'm i'm sure it helps somebody and yeah um stay tuned to this channel you know and um, don't forget to like share subscribe this is not always the kind of content we talk about but some contents we have to talk about it because they are so like sensitive and you know we just have to talk about it <laughs> uh yes and don't worry you'll be fine you you that you feel like you're in your last you'll be fine bye guys